Extreme sports like snowboard halfpipe have a common denominator. Failure is not only always in the air, and often inevitable, it is acceptable. It is part of the culture. To fall is natural. Screw-ups and big crashes prompt cheers, not boos. Tricks are practiced, and botched, hundreds of times before they are mastered, and even after they are mastered, they are botched again. On Friday morning in Zhangjiakou, China, the greatest snowboarder in the history of the halfpipe took his final three runs down a 623-foot curvature with 22-foot high walls and 68 feet of air between the man-made barriers. His final run was incomplete. Sean White fell in the last go of his career. There is no medal this time. But there is a lot to reflect on after what was nearly the most controversial judging decision at a Winter Olympics in a long time. After rallying to win a gold in halfpipe at the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics, White vacillated for years on whether he'd make one more run at glory. Snowboarding doesn't have the culture of swimming or track or many other Olympic disciplines that endear themselves to all-time greats pushing themselves to all-time feats into the winters of their careers. E! News took to their Instagram handle and posted, we're celebrating Sean White's final hashtag Winter Olympics run with Mountain Dew's baby. An absolute legend. Check out the photos. Hirano saw White's back-to-back -back double cork 1440s secure him gold in Pyeongchang four years ago, so he took the progression further. He landed a triple cork 1443 off-axis flips with four spins, followed by four double corks on both his second and third runs. White wrapped his five-trick routine with a frontside 1260 and cleanly pulled it off. He's still among the five greatest in the world at this. It was enough to beat Australia's Scotty James, who claimed silver for his second Olympic medal, and Switzerland's Jan Scherer, who took bronze.